Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombleys who are in League One. League One, ladies and gentlemen, the third tier of English football. And today we have our first game as a League One side. We've got uh, Kaz. We call him Kaz because he's got a very long Greek name. They're in central midfield along with Hells Pels who scored the, game, the goal to win us the uh, Community Shield. Up front we've got John Green and John Green, two men who love each other on and off the pitch. Um, and in the goal, of course, Seb Brown. Seb Brown, who in 2011, Meredith, I don't know if you know this, saved two penalties against Luton Town, sent us into the Football League, and then, just three short years later, saved two penalties against Manchester City in the FA Cup Final to make us heroes to all of Wimbledon and FA Cup title holders. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Here we go. First home game in the new season. We're on professional skill level. Look at the passing. It's just significantly improved. And uh, we're going to, you know, we're going to, oh, wow. That, this is scary. But we're going we're gonna to have some challenges. We're going to be okay. Today's topic comes from Scott. Um, Scott says uh, it's also a project for awesome perk. So thank you, Scott, for donating. Scott says, how do I let my parents know when I'm ready to move out on my own when they clearly don't think I am? That's a great question. And I don't have a good answer. But I guess my best answer is you just got to show them this video, Scott. Oh, man, John Green was ready. But so was Konecki. So um, now, parents, I know that, that it's a weird thing to hear this while you're, um, while you're watching uh, a grown man play third-tier English soccer in a video game. But, um, yeah. So I understand. I'm a parent myself. I understand why it's difficult to let go of, um, of your kids. But it's also really, it's also really good. Um, it means that you have more time, uh, which is nice. And then also that that that, um, that your kids can grow up and become productive adults and eventually take care of you. That is the goal, right? That eventually they will uh, care for you in your old age, and that you can move in with them, um, or that they can pay for a super fancy uh, old folks home. Um, that's all my parents can hope for. There's no way that they're moving in with me. You heard me, mom and dad. Um, I, look, I think it's a mutual conversation. Like, I think that you have to talk to them and, and, and say uh, that you want to be, you're ready for more independence than you have. Um, but you also have to, you have to kind of prove readiness, right? I mean, you're ready to move out on your own when you can afford to move out on your own. Um, and until then it really is their decision. Like if they, you know, like if you can't, if you can't find a way to do it without their, um, without their financial help, then they do have some say in whether it happens. Um, I, you know, I, I moved out when I was, um, well, I went to boarding school, but I, I didn't, I, I, I moved back, back home after college and I stayed for a while. And um, my parents were really ready to, to get me out of the house, I think. Like, I think they saw it as, as a part of my, emotional development that I needed to make and they supported me o only for about six weeks but they did support me for my first six weeks after I moved out um, while I was getting a job in Chicago and that was really really important um, and I'm very grateful to them for doing that but you know you can't oh offside um, you have to have that discussion with your parents and you have to have it in as open and honest a way as possible and I know that sometimes it feels like your parents treat you like you're not a real adult or they treat you like um, you know, like they treat you like they're, you're still that 12 year old that they remember. Um, but like, first off, you kind of are, uh, I mean, at least you are to them. That's their reality. Seb Brown. Oh. right. So you have to honor that reality a little bit. Like you have to understand that they, you are a lot younger than they are. And, um, you know, to them, you still have a lot of, uh, quite a process of maturation to go. Um, where, whereas they have to honor the fact that like to you, you are an adult and, um, and also probably in the eyes of the law and, and, you know, the broader social order, you are an adult and certain adult things are expected of you. And if you can, if you can do those adult things, then I, I, I think, you know, there isn't, there is kind of an obligation to kind of let you do them. Um, but I, I, I think it's difficult. And so I think the only solution, I know that I say this every time, I know that it's annoying to hear it, but like, I really believe the only solution is to try to like talk openly about it um and that's not easy to do but just to say you know i feel ready to to move and here are x y and z reasons why and uh you know not to 
you know, not to lose your temper, not to, not to act ungrateful, but just to say like, this is why I feel ready to have a different, you know, different life circumstance than the one that I've had for the last X number of years. And, um, and I think I can, you know, if you're asking your parents to support you, I think like it makes sense to give them a time frame. Like I think I can achieve financial independence in X. If you're doing it without financial support, I think you should just say like, I'm moving out because I am an adult and I can afford to do so. And that is my choice. Um, yeah, that's what, that's what I would do anyway. I don't, but I don't know. I, I, I think that the general struggle with parents is just how hard it is for them to see you as an adult, but also how hard it is for you um, to see the world from their perspective. Like it's a uh, nil nil, by the way, Preston North end. <sighs> it's been a tough one. Um, haven't seen a ton of chances. It's funny, against Cheltenham Town, I was like, this professional skill level might not even be hard enough. But suddenly against Preston, we are really struggling to make opportunities. Um, so I don't know what we're going to do, but I, th I assume we'll figure it out. We're smart guys. That's a nice unnecessary slide tackle. That's a good start to the half. I like to see those. Um, but maybe we need to, oh, just, just count on C. Arthur. B. Arthur's brother. Oh, no. That's a great job, though, until then. How about a nice oh, piercing through ball from Kaz? That's what I was thinking would be fun. But Kaz is so fast. Kid's got mad pace. By the way, all of our new players are like 16, 17, or 18 years old, Meredith, because we're investing heavily in, in youth. Uh, I'm not trying to build AFC Wimbledon to be a successful team this year. I'm trying to build AFC Wimbledon to be a successful team in 20, 30, 40 years. That's the real key to success. Uh, and I'm not like Jose Mourinho, you know, buying the most expensive players, playing them until they're old. Like, I want to have, have some young, young talent on this club. We did shore up um, the, the defense with a couple of older Brazilian lads. But um, in general, I'm, I'm trying to make uh, – to, to, I want to have the youngest team in the Premier League in three years. That's the real goal. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to deny my ambitions. I want to – I want to go up year after year after year until we're playing with the best clubs in England. Uh, I think that would just be magical. Get that ball. Oh, he just got absolutely slammed. I hope that you get in trouble for that. Hey, Hurst. More like hey, worst. Anybody? Hey, worst. Oh, they're making the double substitution. Professional managers do that a lot. Let me see if maybe they've got one of those in me. Oh, no! No. <laughs> oh, he's injured. I hope it's just an owie. Oh boy. Well, now I've got to, now I feel like we have to pull off both John Green so that the other, one John Green can comfort the other. And then we're going to bring on Gold. He's just solid Gold. And then I feel like this game needs needs something else, but we don't really well, maybe maybe some less more. And take off Kaz. Les Moore, he's the kind of guy. Actually, I think we should put Les Moore. Les Moore has, don't you think, I don't know why Gold is becoming our captain, 17-year-old captain. I feel like Les Moore has the, um, he's not technically a striker, but I feel like he has a better eye for goal. So we're just going to make all three of our substitutions because that's what the real teams do. Um, it's been a difficult day for uh, C. Kennedy, only 50% of his passes, and he has that horrible, unfathomably terrible haircut. Um... Yeah, so I, I just, I think, like, all you have in this situation is, um, like, the ability to have an open and honest conversation, and you just have to take that, you have to take that opportunity, even though it's difficult. Why are my passes so, why are my shots so fast like that? Like, they're like, boom, all of a sudden, they're like, I don't know, is that part of professional skill level? Maybe somebody in comments can explain it to me. Um, but it's fun, I like it, it's, although it's just, it seems like it's hard to make them not go over the goal. I'd like my shots to not go over the goal quite as much, if that's possible. More of, more of a... Uh, Shots that go into the goal. That's really what I'm looking for is to maximize shots that go into the goal. Oh, look, it's C. Arthur. C. Arthur, B. Arthur's brother. He's crossed it in the box. Oh. You could see how bad Les Moore wanted that. Or, or Green Eggs and Sheringham. I don't actually know who it was. But, I mean, that's look at Girls Just Want to Have Fundings Rude with a great play. Girls Just Want to Have Fundings Rude is a big, strong, mm, terrible run. Big, strong man. Big and strong and tough and bad. Girls just want to have fundings rude is he is like hard. You know what I mean? Like he's just like you don't mess with him. You see him in a dark alley and you're scared. You feel actual physical fear. Here he is. 
Here he is. Oh, I'm sure the Preston player is like, oh, I can take him on. Actually, he can. He can beat him for pace. That's not good. Everything worked out. Nope. He's still, still not clear. Still, still a bad situation, but we have something that they don't have. Our secret weapon, Seb Brown, who in 2011 saved two penalties against Luton Town to send us into the Football League, and then three years later saved two penalties against Manchester City in the FA Cup final to make us FA Cup champions. What a beautiful performance that was, and what a beautiful performance it is today from Sebby Brown. Still nil-nil in the 80th minute. It's time to go attacking and hope that we can find a goal somewhere uh, and continue our streak of victories. There we go. There we go. It's beautiful gold. He doesn't have a name yet. Oh, get there. He's just fast enough. Oh. I don't know about my strategy of just always crossing it into the box, Manchester United style. Um, but I also don't know about any other strategies being any better. I'm going to go all out attacking now. Time to go all ultra attacking. We've got to get the ball back. Got to get the ball back in five minutes. Anyway, I hope that it works out with your parents, Scott, and generally people who are having parent parental struggles. I know that that stuff can be hard. Oh, there he is. He's, you know, he's league best in assists, Mr. Gold. He's got three assists already this season. All right, they're doing their last substitution to try to kill some time. I don't blame them because they're up against the Wimbly Wombly's. We're the far more threatening side. Come on, we got to get the ball. We can't win without the ball. We can't win without the ball, guys. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There's a little bit of possession, but probably not enough. And indeed, it's looking bleak for the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Womblies. That's it. Wait, oh, it was offside. We might have one chance to go up the line. No, we don't. Well, it's the standard Wimbly Wombly nil-nil draw, my friends. Who's that nice-looking gray-headed gentleman? What's his name? Can I see the back of his jersey, please? Oh, Kennedy's hair got in the way. Oh, gosh, I didn't win a game, and I had to see Kennedy's hair. It's been a terrible day. Best wishes.